welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is a quick video to answer questions I've been having for the past few weeks as we um, you know learned that we are now 85% um, on the April 2018 update I uh, get regular questions of okay so when's the next version when it will what will it have and uh, will I still be able to run it um, so here's the thing. The uh, next version for Windows 10 will arrive and is scheduled to arrive to everybody this October. The name, it's not official, but according to some rumors, the name would be October 2018 update. Now, here I'm in, in Insider Preview. You see there's a bill number on the bottom right here, 17730. This is close to what it will be in October. There might be a few new little things that are going to make it, uh, but pretty much we're already, you know, most of the features that we'll get this fall are in here. It's not a big update, honestly. There are things that, you know, could have been there that are not going to make it. Uh, one of them that are actually a little surprised it's not making it, sets sets which was that new way of having tabs with different apps open to increase your workflow it's not making it so this is interesting uh, but there are a few little things that are of interest still um, one of the things is the fact that microsoft edge gets a lot of, uh, you know a lot of tweaks in the future version so microsoft edge will have you know a better looking menus will have better looking options uh, it will you know become your favorite uh, epub reader or electronic book reader your pdf reader obviously because it's just amazing at doing that and if it's you know even if you use google chrome one of the things i think that edge is probably going to be useful um, and, and might be of interest is the fact that you get all of these features of, you know, improved uh, visuals with uh, ebooks and PDFs. Uh, you get, of course, now the uh, official uh, settings of, you know, stopping media from automatically playing automatic videos, automatic um, uh, clips of audio sometimes, you know, nothing more annoying than having a page that has sound, but you don't know which one it is and it's just annoying the hell out of you because that's not what you want. Well, that's automatically blocked if you want uh, to activate this functionality, which is pretty nice. Um, one of the things that is coming this fall is the screen sniff feature. It replaces, and we now, it's official, Microsoft has told us that this screen sniff feature is replacing the snipping tool. And it's okay because, I mean, the screen sniff feature is very nice. It enables you to do some, um, you know, captures of the full screen or... Of, of areas of the screen and it, it's very very nice uh, this is going to make it to um, the fall this October update um, not very complete and you know what uh, I wonder if they'll leave it like that until now we think that the dark file explorer is there you see it here uh, there needs to be more you know tweak that's for sure because that's a few things that are um, it's still not perfect and it's it's still kind of Know, missing out on a little bit of, uh, of of the beauty of what it could all be, but it's it's really not. It is improved compared to what it was, but there still there still needs to be some changes here. Uh, but you know, dark file explorer, a lot of people wanted that. Improve experience of search. So now when you click to search in here, look at that. There's a lot more um, visual visuals in the 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 Cortana or the search box. Uh, including, you know, when you search for an app. So, for example, if I want to have WordPad, you see that now it has a panel of WordPad, desktop app, all of that, recent, when it was used last, all of the information. Uh, kind of nice, you know, lots of, lots of really, really nice stuff uh, with the search getting better. Uh, and I think that's pretty cool. One that um, was added very recently, uh, it doesn't work for me, but apparently it works in the United States. Your phone experience is apparently going to make the cut this promises to be very interesting. Um, you know, you could already link your phone with Windows 10 in April 2018 update and such get notifications of text messages, calls, 
missed calls and so on, battery level of your phone. But this is more. This is, uh, if you take pictures, you'll have a sync or a synchronization of the pictures from your phone into Windows 10. This is kind of cool. Makes it so easy suddenly to share these pictures. Uh, and a lot more apparently coming up. So this is going to be an interesting uh, feature to look at. So, you know, when we look at that, pretty much this is overall um, at the surface, some of the big new features. Uh, what else? Well, of course, you know what? I think one of the things that's important to understand is that they're slowing down the features and increasing the work on just making it better. I think we need that because uh, obviously the April 2018 update has taught us one thing. They need to take more time to make sure the code is ready and that it's you know the less the less bugs possible, the less problems possible, uh, to make sure that it upgrades well uh, for everyone. So that's the quick looks at the features, and uh, of course, uh, more to come as we're getting closer and closer. Um, and like I said, expected to be available to insiders officially end of September probably, October official release at some point for October 2018 update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.